I was walking along a beach with my father when something miraculous happened, and to put it into words needs a little context. What happened was so profound, so exhilarating, that it had to be divinely orchestrated. What happened was a woman ran by. And though I never met her, I never even saw her face, she changed my life forever. When my father and I were walking along a beach in Northern California, I was carrying this movie camera, this big old relic from the 70s, a Bolex 16 millimeter film camera, because my new ambition was to be a filmmaking genius. And I always had this, this challenge where I wanted to carry this one artifact through life and become so acquainted with it that it kind of lifted us both to <laughs> immortality. And as I was walking with my father, thinking about life and legacy, this woman ran by. I was just pondering if I would leave any trace in this world when her footprints were washed away. And that exploded my consciousness. Enlightenment is a terrible word. However, it's the only one I have. And it's not the end of the road. It's the beginning of another road. However you want to phrase it. The point is, that set me off on a journey through life from a different perspective. I was still walking alongside my father. However, we were now uh, vast chasms apart from one another because I had changed profoundly in that instant after years and decades of meditation and intense work and traveling to Asia and reading countless books. All of that efforting led no, <laughs> seemingly led nowhere. And then this, almost by accident, this one uh, gift of grace, as we, as I say. Now, it, it isn't that simple, of course. It, of course, didn't take. I was so prone to melancholy, so used to anxiety, so accustomed to depression, that I couldn't hold the frequencies. And uh, I just was spinning. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. And I had to figure out what to do with this. So I fell back into familiar patterns. However, a new awareness was with me now that this wasn't my real life, that this was something uh, just that I'd been familiar with in the past and was not what was most real. Does that make sense? So what was most real now, I had touched, I had tasted, I just wanted to live more of it. So I started to uh, process that in different ways. And I fell so far out of alignment in terms of... Um, living in the sensual realms and such, uh, without any awareness, trying to kind of stuff things down, that the same ocean I was walking beside before came to my rescue, as they say, and an ocean wave in the Pacific off the coast of San Diego slammed me into the ocean floor, boom, a blow to the head, breaking my neck. And this was my call to awakening. It, it launched me on a journey like no other, um, with a eccentric shaman woman who walked around with long white braids. She was 70 years old. She came in and she said uh, something like, all your relationships have been fake based on, based on manipulation. Uh, you think you're here to heal your neck and that's the least of it. You've had a lot of trauma and I may be able to help you transcend it. I don't know. It depends on if you can endure the trials. And the trials were unlike anything I could imagine. Three years of seemingly impossible overcoming obstacle after obstacle, driving thousands of miles, having my heart crushed, uh, losing money, <laughs> losing time, almost dying, etc. And when I came out the other side, I realized, oh, though it seems impossible looking back, I was unstoppable because I was on path. Are you on path? Do you want to get back on path? So, long story short, <laughs> I, I'm launching the Love of Life Challenge to show you everything I know, that everything that uh, Calypso taught me up until the day she died recently. So, to put all this stuff into perspective, I ha also had to go sojourn into the forest, spend years in a cabin, just kind of, what do I do? What do I do? And I heard this voice, you know, you need to bring this out. I said, I don't know how. You'll learn as you go. And that's what we're doing. Since 2011, I've been seeing clients just like you, helping them uh, shake free of the stupor, break out of the digital void, come back to what is most human, what is most real. If you're living beside yourself and the lure of the comfort and the traps, hello, <laughs> welcome back. Love of Life Challenge. Comment Love of Life Challenge, and I will send you the details. Now, 
This woman that ran by, I never met her. She's a stranger passing ships in the night, all that. She changed my life. That was very fortuitous. I don't think that happens for most people. For you, I suggest you seize this opportunity. Now, um, I may see you on the other side, or I may see you in some years and ask, what in your life has changed? The choice is really up to you. So comment love of life or LOL, and I will send you the link for this five-day challenge. Let's do it.